welcome back to my channel so I'm back and this time I'm gonna do a video using my clear UV LED um, this is the Venalisa builder gel this is heart jelly gel um, this is kind of thick I, I did uh, another video about this also gonna be using uh, Kenny no wipe top coat um, base coat and I also have um, Kenny primer okay so first of all let me just show you my nails I cut all my nails um, the reason why I did that because my nails got so long they were starting to break from di different places so what I did I started patching my nails uh, with some glue and then I patch them with um, some gel and then I decided to apply some gel on top of the whole nail and it just got to a point where I didn't like them anymore and I feel like um, you know I need to start all over again and not only that it was a good chance to use some of that um, nail forms so yeah it was a, um, a chance it was a good chance that I could use my nail forms and since this is my um, right hand I mean left hand I'm gonna be doing it with my right hand so it was gonna be much easier than the other time where I actually did this too um, my nails look kind of nasty right now uh, excuse me <laughs> for that um, but as you guys can see my nail is already growing and I'll probably remove um, the gel when it gets a little bit longer for now I will leave them on um, so yeah, uh, I did this, uh, um, I didn't record this because this is my thumbnail and I couldn't really find the perfect size for my thumbnail um, using a um, nail form. Um, so what I ended up using, it was one of these um, Eugivas, no not Eugivas, um, these are the BTR box um, nail, fake nails. Um, you can actually use these now the nail forms are already they're a little bit they are easier to use just because of this right here that you can actually hold them and just kind of move them around now this you cannot really do that so it, it was a little bit difficult um, but yeah um, like you you guys can see my nails are clean all I gotta do is first of all I'm gonna use one of this um, um, no lint cloth so I'm just gonna clean with alcohol this is just alcohol 95% alcohol that I got from Walmart um, so let me just get rid of that I'm not gonna need it so I'm just gonna let that dry And I'm just gonna use a primer and all my nails. And um, I said it before, I'm not a professional. I'm just doing this because I love doing anything that has to do with nails. Uh, I do prefer natural nails, but you know, sometimes um, you just gotta cut your natural nail. So I always wanted to learn and they're coming out with so many cool stuff that I thought I'll give it a try, why not? And I actually <laughs> love um, the gel, it's so easy to work with. I feel like the more you practice, the better you get. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, this actually looks all right. Uh, once I put some polish on this now, it's gonna look really nice. So um, for this video, it's probably gonna be a long one. Uh, so for now, I'm just gonna let this primer dry and then I'll be back to continue with this video. So I'm back and now I'm ready to put some base coat. And this is what I'm gonna be using. Um, so. You want to be very careful when you apply your base coat to your nail. Um, you don't want to get your base coat all over your cuticle area, all over your cuticles, or 
for her uh, if that happens that's when you get like lifting um, so I'm gonna try to do it um, try to do it um, trying to I'm trying to be very careful not to have it all over my cuticle so, okay Now, uh, if you do get some around your cuticles, um, you can always um, use a brush um, with acetone and clean around your cuticle just like you do when you're doing polish. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to cure this for 30 seconds and for this I'm just going to use my Madame Glam Little Lamp and it should be fine. If you feel like... Um, you want to cure it for more and then you can just go ahead and do 60 seconds it's up to you it depends on the lamp you have um, I don't know do whatever you like do whatever you want um, like I said <clears throat> uh, nobody show me how to do this I've been learning as I go little by little and I'm really happy with the result um, so I'll do 30 more seconds, just so we can be on the safe side. And while that's curing, let me just say, um, uh, what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, um, after I'm done, I'm going to leave them on. I don't know how long they're going to stay on my nails. Uh, I will do another video um, just to kind of see how everything is working out for me. And then we'll see. Okay, so now I'm just going to... I'm just going to go ahead and open the gel. Guys, okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure the nail forms and make sure they fit good. And if they don't, and then you can use a file to kind of file your nail forms. And I'm just trying to make them fit good on my nails.
all right you guys so I'm done curing um, now I'm gonna tell you the truth um, some of the gel just went all over my finger uh, so I forgot to instead of placing it like that start curing it I forgot to um, either I could just get the metal thing and just kind of press down or with the brush but I think the metal part would have been better I totally forgot about that part um, and and that gel was burning like this part of my finger but it wasn't really bad so as soon as I flip it it was okay uh, I did cure it for 90 seconds and 90 seconds just to make sure it was um, cured completely so now I'm ready to remove the form and these are super easy to remove you just kind of wiggle and as you guys can see um, not hard at all and You guys can see what I did. Um, now, from this point, where well, you there's still a couple of things that you want to do. Uh, what I'm gonna do first of all, I'm gonna remove the tacky layer um, because I'm gonna file and all that's gonna stick to the nail because it's so tacky. Um, now, another thing that you gotta um, when you're done with your nails, you wanna make sure that your nails are not like super thin. Because if they are, you can add like more gel, and you want to make sure you file your cuticle area, so that way when you brush another coat, and then you should be fine. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and file, shape my nails, and then once I'm filing, I'm gonna add more another coat of gel, and and then I'll be back to talk to you guys. Also, I got uh. I'm gonna remove some of this gel from here because it feels really weird. I don't know if you guys can see, it's just a little bit too much, but I have a drill so I can always go under there. Um, and I feel like it's only um, these two. These two are fine. Um, they're pretty thin, especially this one, so I, I am gonna apply another layer before I actually file it because if not, it's not gonna break so I'll start with that and so let's get started You guys can see um, before I even file and shape my uh, nails I add another uh, layer of gel and the reason why I did that was because um, some of these nails were like super thin especially the pinky one and I felt like if I if I uh, file it it was gonna probably break so that's why I did it also um, I'm going to cure it, but um, I'm trying to, it's missing a little part right there, so that's what I'm trying to do. So let me just cure this like right away, so it doesn't mess up again. Um, also, I'm going to I'm gonna have to file the top 
just to make it evenly nicely and just to see where where else I need to add more gel um and yeah I'm pretty sure with the poly gel it's probably gonna be easier because the that's not gonna go anywhere now this one like I said it's kind of thick but not like super thick um also when you're applying with the brush it gets like really weird that's why usually I just wait a little bit and let it uh, let the gel level up a little bit and then it's gonna get smooth um, so that's just another thing to consider before you cure it um, but like I said um, I'm not saying this is the uh, right way to do it this is just the way I do it and this is what it works for me uh, make sure you cure it for 90 seconds, so I'll be back after I cure it. Okay, guys, so now it's cured, so now I'm gonna wipe it with some alcohol. Um, just because I'm gonna file it and shape it, and I don't wanna end up with all that nasty stuff, um, stuck on the nail. Cause it's very sticky right now. back and my uh, my flash on my camera just went off um, so 
what I did. I went um, under the nail. This one. And just got rid of some of that extra gel. Now, I only have these. These are really cheap. I need to order me a good one. These don't, I mean, they work, but they're not so great. Um, I kind of file my nails just the way I wanted, wanted to. And I want you to see, like, there's some gel right there, so I'm just going to go over that. And like I said, these right here are not the greatest. Um, so it's a struggle. Um, so yeah, but I need to... Make sure that it's wet so I can just put some um, gel over it before I even top coat. Now on this nail, the gel went over the cuticles, so of course I want to remove that. Otherwise I'm going to have some lifting and I don't want any lifting on on this. Um, another thing that I want to say, um, for me it's so much easier to do these nails on other people. Uh, I done my sister, I done my neighbors, and they always look good on them. Um, I feel like I'm having so much trouble doing them on, on myself. But I still wanted to try this just because why not? My natural nails were all broken so this is a good chance to actually do one myself. Again, I'm just gonna um, probably just have some of that acetone. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but like when I put the gel, it looks so streaky. So that's why I don't cure it like right away. I wait a couple, maybe like a minute or so, and the gel will level level up, and it won't look like that anymore. It will look like really smooth. So I'm just going to cure this, uh, but before I cure, I want to make sure that, um, the gel looks really smooth before I cure it, and I think it's, pretty, it's looking pretty good now. So the last thing that I want to do is um, just kind of get one of these and just kind of 
file the top just to kind of smooth everything, make sure everything is nicely before I top coat. Um, make sure your cuticle area looks fine. I mean, these don't look the best. I've done better, like I said, on my sister or my neighbor. Um, that's where I've been practicing. But I thought I was going to be able to do <laughs> a better job on me. I mean, they don't look terrible. But definitely they look better on them. When I do them on someone else, they look way better. Uh, but um, I did give it a try. And I mean, they're not the worst. Um, now I do like to grow my own natural nails, so yeah. Um, let's just go ahead and clean. I got some alcohol. And now I'm just gonna top coat just to finish this. And then I will polish my nail and show you guys how it looks. Um, so let me cover the base coat. So here I have the top coat. And I have a mess. And I will cure this for 60 seconds. Alright, so let me just go ahead and cure this. Guys, so I'm done and I think they look alright. I mean, they're not perfect, but they're also not like super bad. <laughs> I don't know, it's whatever. Uh, most of the stuff I do in my channel, you know. Um, it's for fun, also, also to learn about. Mainly, you know, have fun, um, try new things, don't be scared, and let me just go ahead and, so I'm going to use some of this shiner glaze, uh, this is a base coat, because I'm going I'm to put some more regular polish on, on the nails. I want you guys to see how they look after polishing after polish them. Um, I think this one looks really good. Now this one I did with the um, fake nail. I think I like it even more than the ones with the dual form. I don't know. What do you guys think? So I'm gonna let that dry and then I will continue applying the Alright you guys, so I'm done and this is the final result. I think they look pretty nice. Um, I don't know if you guys like them or not, but I did. I don't think they look bad at all. So, yeah. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.